How are you, Kenny? Good to see you again, man. Hey, good to see you, Eli. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Now, you've worked with some major rock bands like Train and 30 Seconds to Mars. Mm -hmm. And you've also worked with greats like Stevie Wonder, who requires a lot of different playing styles from his musicians. Yes, he does. So we want to go through the anatomy of the drumstick, or the five key elements of the drumstick that affect feel and sound, all right? So the first is diameter, length, tip shape and tip material, wood type, and then of course taper. For you and your experience, how have you found a thinner versus a thicker diameter to affect your feel and sound? Well, as a player, I personally like a larger diameter stick in my hand. It gives me a lot of power when I play and it feels comfortable. Okay. But there's also times where you need a bit more delicacy in what you're doing, and so that thinner diameter really gives you that feel of, of touch that you're looking for. Okay, so it allows you to be a little more nimble while you yes, play. Yes, okay. definitely a little bit more nimble. Cool. A standard drumstick is 16 inches long. Some players prefer a little shorter, and others, especially nowadays, prefer a little longer. Yeah, especially a lot of the rock drummers and the big country drummers who do big fills want that length. And right. the main reason is just because it keeps you, it, it keeps you from having to stick crawl up in your hand because you want to maintain your technique. So the longer length allows you to do the things you want while not sacrificing technique. So okay, let's talk a little bit about tip shape and tip material. All right. If you're playing rock and roll or heavier metal, what kind of tip shape and material are you opting for? Well, it depends on how bright I want to be. I mean, I, I love okay. wood tips, that's my choice. But I've also had rock gigs where you need a little bit more brightness. So you'll choose a nice oval tip like this, which mm. gives you a lot of sound, a lot of surface you're hitting the drum with. The bigger the tip, right. the more sound you get. Okay. Uh, but I've also had some gigs that are, that are rock, but also need a little bit of funk. And so I love something like this, a big, large round tip. Again, a lot of surface to get volume, but plenty of articulation in your hi-hat patterns and your ride okay. patterns jump out. So do you feel like nylon would jump out more than this round wood tip? Oh, definitely so. Definitely a brighter, shinier sound that's going to okay. project through the loud music. Cool. So if we want to switch gears maybe and go play some uh, light jazz, kind of up-tempo swing, bebop, what kind of tip are you opting for there? Well, my favorite right here is, is the little arrowhead, yeah. uh, simply because with that, it feels like the acorn tips or the, or the, the barrel tips I like, yeah. but it has so much finesse and delicacy that I can actually play with my normal technique mm -hmm. and not be afraid to be too loud on the drum. Cool. We have three of the most primary wood types, right? We have hickory. Classic sound, classic feel. Bro. That's right. We have oak. Ah, I remember my oak 808s. That's what I started with. And then we have maple. So we'll dive a little bit into each of the three. So hickory stick, it's the most popular drumstick wood. It gives you that classic feel, right? Yeah. It's a durable wood, but not nearly as durable as oak. I'm oh sure. yeah, those would last forever. <laughs> yeah. But they had a firmer feel in my hand. That's one thing I do remember, I had a lot of attack. Yeah. But you feel a little bit more shock from the wood. It's true. Than you would from the hickory. What I really want to know about, man, is these rock maples, because <laughs> I picked these guys up and I swear to God, I felt like I was using a rock stick because of the yeah. diameter but the, it was so effervescent and airy in my hand. Yeah. Uh, why? Well, maple, maple is a much less dense wood, so you can get fatter diameters to, to maintain the fit that you like. Yeah, totally. You, you can get a much lighter feel. Just remember, though, that maple is far less durable than either hickory or oak, so those will tend to break a little sooner if you're playing rock and roll. Like you so said. what you're saying is buy two pairs? <laughs> <laughs> so, Kenny, I want to talk about the primary element of the drumstick that affects feel, and that's taper. Taper really affects everything in how you play a stick. For example, if I'm playing a rock gig or I got one of my drummers and he needs yeah. a little bit more power and speed in his playing, I want a short taper where the front of the stick really throws the power. Okay. Whereas if I'm seeing my guy struggle with too much power and needs some more delicacy, I want a longer taper that allows him to play with his technique but use finesse and agility. That's uh, right. That's what long taper is going to give you. More agility in your playing, more bounce, and allow you to be a bit more precise. That's right. So we've heard the market uh, talk about this a lot. So we designed a new line of drumsticks called Select Balance. So this line of sticks utilizes the five most popular drumstick diameters from a 7A to a 5B. So, once you've decided on your favorite diameter, you now have the option of choosing a rebound or a forward balanced version of that stick. So, if you play a 5A, for instance, you can now choose a forward 5A that has a forward throwing feel. Yeah, all the power you want in it. Yeah, optimizes power and speed. Or you can choose that same 5A in a rebound balance with a rebound assist or a rear weighted feel to optimize finesse and agility in your playing 
to help you adjust to that diameter change. Okay, so now that's what I'm talking about, both as a player and as a tech. Um, yeah. It's great to know that I can turn to my players and say, no, it's gonna feel the same in your hand. Man, that's amazing. That yeah. gives him so much ability without having to change anything. That's the, that's the use of the line, man. It's really awesome. So, Ken, anything else you wanna know about drumsticks? Yeah, I wanna know where we're gonna set up some drums and cymbals and check these guys out. <laughs> that's what I wanna know. Let's do it, man.